Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. I'm so happy, I'm so happy to see all of you. Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Learning with Miss Sherelle. I am so excited that you came to join me. Before we begin, what is it that we need to do first? Hmm, what is it that we do first? That's right, we shake out all of our jiggles, all of our wiggles, and all of our giggles. So if you are ready, let's stand up and begin. Shake the jiggles out. Jiggle, jiggle, shake the wiggles out. Wiggle, wiggle, shake your giggles out. <laughs> One more time, shake the jiggles out. Jiggle, jiggle. Shake your wiggles out. Wiggle, wiggle, and shake your giggles out. <laughs> so now that you've gotten all of the jiggles, wiggles, and giggles out, let's sit back down and show me that you are ready. That's right. By doing what? Mm -hmm. Our eyes are looking our ears are listening awesome look at my big boys and girls doing great good listening awesome so now we can welcome all of our friends so when i point to you you're going to say your name that's right and follow the actions let's begin where is where is please stand up please stand up do a little wave clap your hands sit back down sit back down awesome look at my little listeners ready to learn so let's begin we're going to talk about our what? Feelings. That's right. So I'm going to act out a feeling and you are going to guess which feeling from the chart I am acting out. Are we ready? Thumbs up. That's right. That's how I know you are ready. So here is my feeling. What feeling am I acting out? Hmm, is it maybe excited? Thumbs up if you think excited. Hmm, um, maybe sad. Thumbs up if you think sad. Okay, what about surprised? Thumbs up if you think surprised. Actually, yes, surprised. <gasps> Me? Oh, I won? Oh! Yes, guys, the feeling is surprise. What's another way to express that you feel surprised? Using your words, right? You can say, I am surprised. Can you say that? <coughs> Excuse me. I am surprised. Awesome. So we found two ways that we can communicate that how we feel and how our feeling was surprise. So we can say, I'm surprised, or our actions like, oh, whoa, right? Yes. All right, so now that we've talked about the feeling surprise, let's move to our calendar, okay? So here it says, yesterday was Monday. Oh, that was yesterday. So is today Monday? No, right? So we need to find out what day comes after Monday. Wow, how could we do that? Right, by singing, singing the days of the week. So are you ready? Let me see those thumbs up. That's right, you are ready. So let's begin. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. 
There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 So here is Monday. We move over to Tuesday. Awesome. So let's say bye Monday. Hello to Tuesday. Hello Tuesday. And what letter does Tuesday begin with? Letter T. Awesome. So let's move over to the month. And the month is November. Right. And November begins with the letter N. Good job. N is for November. Can we sing the months of the year? Yes? Are you guys ready? Thumbs up to show me that you are ready. Let's begin. There's January, February, March and April, May and June and July, August, September, October, November, December. So we know today is Tuesday. The month is November. What date is it? Uh-oh, here we are. Here's the date. And it's what? It's missing, right? So we need to find out what comes after number nine. And how could we do that? We can count. That's right. Awesome. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good job. A pat on the back for you. Ten comes after nine. Here we go. Here is ten. A one and a zero. Awesome. So let's say it together. Ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. All right. Today is Tuesday, November 10th. Awesome. And what season are we in? Right, we are in the fall season. And what are the things that happen in fall? Right, the leaves change colors. The leaves fall to the ground. The leaves change colors. The leaves fall to the ground. What are some other things that you notice happen in the fall? Right, the days are shorter. The nights are longer. So it gets dark very quickly, right? Yeah, very early. What is something else that you notice? Right, it starts to get very cold. So what are some of the clothes that we can wear? Do we wear shorts? No, right? Well, let's look at Bentley if we're not sure. How is Bentley dressed? Right, he has on a sweater, pants, and sneakers so when he goes outside he is warm right we have to be warm because it's not hot outside anymore all right now that we have discussed the calendar let's move on to our alphabet awesome are you guys ready to sing yes thumbs up if you're ready awesome let's begin <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Awesome singing, guys. So our letter for the week is letter... Q, right? And Q is for queen. Q is for quilt. Q is for quick. <laughs> that was really quick, right? And Q says, qu qu good job. You guys are doing a great job today. So now that we've talked about the letter Q and we sang our alphabet, let's move on to our poem about leaves. 
right? So let's try to repeat after me, okay? Leaves, leaves, they grow on trees. Good. Leaves, leaves, as beautiful as can be. Red, yellow, orange, and brown. Watch them as they dance around. Swaying in the breeze, one by one, they fall to the ground. Now listen for their sound. Crunch, scrunch goes the leaves as the children stomp their feet, jumping, playing in the leaves. So much fun this must be. Has anyone gone outside to play in the leaves? Thumbs up if you've gone outside to play in the leaves. All right. Well, if you have, I'm glad you did. You had lots of fun. And for those that haven't done it yet, maybe today's the day you can try and play in the leaves. All right, guys, let's move on to our shape. What's our shape of the week? It's a what? It's a pentagon, right? A pentagon. And how many sides does the pentagon have? Five sides. Great. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. And who remembers from yesterday? What is another shape that we can see from the pentagon? A what? Triangle, right? Yes. So see, there's shapes inside shapes. So did anyone see any pentagons yesterday? Did you go hunting? You did? Awesome. And if you didn't get a chance, today is the day to go and look. Go hunting for some pentagons. There are quite maybe many around you and you don't even know it. All right, let's move on to our colors, okay? Yes, so if you are wearing any of these colors, you're going to do what? Touch your toes. All right, let's begin. Red, touch your toes. Orange, blue, yellow, white, pink, green, Purple, gray, turquoise, brown, black. Awesome job. I'm so proud of you. You guys are doing such a great job at listening and ga gathering all the learning. I'm really, really proud of you guys. So let's move on to sorting. I need you guys to help me to sort. I have some more leaves here and it'd be great are these real leaves like the ones from yesterday no these aren't real they are fake they're pretend leaves so we're, you're going to help me sort these colors what color is this orange okay so where do we put this leaf with the orange crayon all right uh oh it fell but we know what color is this one Green, right? Where would we put this one? With the green crayon. Awesome. You guys are doing such great sorting. And what color is this? Yellow. Where would we put this one? Right, with the yellow crayon. Good job. Oh, look at this. What color is this? Orange, right? Would we put it with the orange crayon all right so we have two orange leaves and one yellow one green thank you guys for helping me to sort the colored leaves you guys did such a great job give yourself a round of applause you did all of this learning today right yes you did we talked about being surprised that feeling surprise and the actions that we can show when we're surprised or us using our words when we are surprised. I am surprised. We know today is Tuesday, November 10th. The season is fall, right? Mm -hmm. Our letter for the week is Q and Q says qu, right? And Q is for quiet. Q is for quick. 
is for queen. Awesome. We said our poem about leaves. Our shape for the week is the pentagon. And the pentagon has five sides. Awesome. What action did we do to show the colors we were wearing? Right, we touched our toes. And then you helped me sort the colored leaves. Awesome job, you did all this learning. A round of applause to such great little learners. So, we've been sitting for quite some time. Are you guys ready to stand up and stretch as a tree? Yes, let's begin. We're gonna pretend to be the tree, all right? On your tippy toes, stretch, stretch, stretch. We are tall trees. The fingers are the leaves, wiggling fingers, yes. Now we're moving side to side because we're swaying. The wind is blowing us. The leaves are falling from the tree. We're falling, 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 falling to the ground. Now up again, we are trees again. High to the sky. Wiggle your fingers because they are the leaves. The wind is blowing. Now we're moving from side to side. Uh-oh. The leaves are falling from the tree. Swing down, 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 down to the ground. Awesome. Good job, boys and girls. You were great trees. Love your little leaves. <gasps> Did you hear that sound? What does that mean? Right, learning with Miss Sherelle has come to an end just for today. But we will be back tomorrow where the learning will begin all over again. So I want you guys to enjoy the rest of your day. And remember, the learning never stops. Uh-oh, we forgot to say it. I am smart. That's right, say it nice and loud. I am smart. Okay, until tomorrow. Bye, friends.